ago, if anyone had asked me to do a speech for graduation, I would have done whatever I could to get out of it. <laughs> Even when I was asked to do a speech a month ago, I was very hesitant. But with the same, same support I received over the last two years, I was able to meet this challenge. With that being said, I want to start today by saying thank you. First, to the faculty and staff of Globe University, who have been there for us every day since the beginning. Thank you for guiding us in our educational journeys and sharing with us the many lessons you have learned during your own journeys. Thank you for always being there to support us, even when we send you email after email in panic. <laughs> Finally, thank you for helping us get to where we are today, graduation. To our parents, husbands, wives, family, and friends, thank you for being our number one supporter in everything we have done leading up to and continuing past today. Whether it was encouraging us to continue on to college, or go return to college, or even just being there, supporting us through the process of transferring schools, or transferring three times, we want to say thank you. We wouldn't be here today without your continual support. Now, to the class of 2016, congratulations. We made it. It's been quite a journey, filled with many highs and lows, but here we are. This is something we should all be incredibly proud of. While looking for some quotes to describe this class, I happened upon one from J.K. Rowling that I found incredibly fitting. She said, We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. One of the biggest things I have loved about GLOBE is getting to hear the different stories that everyone brought here. Whether it was finding out your original major was not something that you were actually interested in, or going back for something new, or that you found yourself a single parent who decided to make a change and go back to school. Or maybe it was the fact that you didn't have a chance to go to school until now. Whatever your story may be, we have all imagined better for ourselves, and now better is what we have achieved. I used to think college was going to be pretty straightforward. I would find a school I loved, stay there for four years, studying the same thing, and graduated four to five years. For me, the only thing that remained true was that I'm here, graduating four years after I started. As for everything else, it took a matter of four schools and two changes of major to, dis to get, where get where I am today. Some might ask why it took me so long to get here. My answer would be, everywhere I went, I was always looking ahead and wondering if I could imagine better for myself. Was I going to be happy long term? Was I excited for my future? Well, there were moments that would excite me for my future. I realized that there wasn't a constant feeling of excitement until I changed my major. Yet, with three, each of the three schools, there was always a feeling of, I know that there's something better out there. And then I found hope. I'm not going to lie. The day I walked in to meet my advisor, hoping that this would be my final transfer, there was still a part of me asking me whether I could still do better. After my first semester here, I found myself registering for round two. I remember calling my mom after confirming my class schedule for the second semester and telling her I had officially found the college where I was going to complete my degree. I could still hear the sound of relief and that the parade of transfers from college to college had finally ended. <laughs> Being here has really been a life-changing experience. Though there were many changes I had to overcome, including the adjustment from a lecture hall holding close to 200 students, to my first class at the West Campus, which by the end of the year had four students. <laughs> or studying and taking finals not just twice a year, but four times a year. I was still not trained the last two years here for the world. I was not only able to find something better, I was able to find what was best. I really hope that each and every one of you has taken something from your experience here at GLOBE that you believe has bettered your life, or at least your college experience. We have had the opportunity to not only build new relationships with our classmates, but also to create new connections with our teachers, guest speakers, faculty, staff, and externship leaders. My hope is that these connections and relationships will continue to encourage you to imagine better. In closing, I want to share a quote from Ellen DeGeneres. Follow your passion, stay true to yourself. Never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you're lost, and you see a path, then by all means follow that. <laughs> be true to yourself and everything will be fine. Congratulations, class of 2016.